Hi guys, it's Rob from the Lost Bricks, bringing you one of the latest Lego news, reviews and hauls. So today I travel all the way to Brackner for another National Bricks event. Around. So this is where the venue is today, Brackner Leisure Centre. At the moment it's only half past seven, so we're going to go inside, see where our tables are and start taking the stock in and setting up ready for the general public admission for 10am. So some of the time slots are already sold out, so that hopefully should be a really really busy day today with a lot of sales. And them, oh, them pesky stormtroopers, they know you today, they're on holidays. I missed them last week because I was on holidays, but this week they're on holidays. So they're touring, well, another galaxy, they're going around the UK with a camper van. So hopefully they're having a good time, but hopefully today they'll bring out all the buyers and we have a really successful day. So let's go inside and see the setup, the other traders and the displayers. Bye for now. Okay, so it's my stall today. So got some speed champions and some gifts for purchase. Got some of the architecture ring, some pre-loved and some brand new. Some Super Mario set at the back. Got some of the different brickheads, some winter sets. Believe it or not, they do sell even though it's not Christmas for another couple of months. Got some friends pre-loved sets as well. Some different accessories onto my minifigures as you can see they're all in different themes such as DC, Star Wars, there you go, some of the cases at the top, different key rings, got some pens as well, all different colours, blue, red and black, got some new Ninjago minifigures, some accessories, make your own figure for just two pounds, got all different Lego bags, Making use of the shell at the back. Got some new plush toys as well. Especially like the unicorn. Some sets at the top. For the Star Wars art sets. And some of the Bricklink sets. Got my float ready. A pack lunch. And all the spare sets are underneath. And at the bottom. And got some more poly bags to the side. And got some more around the back. So hopefully it's going to be a really busy day today. So we shall see later. Okay, so this is one of the first displays we've seen as before. It's one of the newest ones, the National Bricks events. It's a huge, massive submarine, so it's really good because children can come and sit in the front of it. I'll be photos taken. Well, you can see a lot of hours, time, bricks. It's absolutely huge. 747 Dreamliner. So you can see the plaque with all the information. And an absolutely huge plane. Got another plane by the side of it. We'll fight the plane. Okay, so these are the National Bricks event upscale and large minifigures. So you can see they've got different colours black, purple, blue, green, red, orange, and finally yellow. So this is the entrance. So obviously, we're not open yet. But this is the way you come in to the hall. And there's the hall, as you can see. So everyone's setting up, so we down the bottom, so I'll show you the table. Okay, so it's this way, we actually use one of the play mats. As you can see the vehicles in the garage on top of there. They've got some figures for sale. So there's a YouTube and a Facebook QR code to follow them. So Technic Records Salvage 2023. So you can see all the different vehicles. I 
I quite like this one. Black Tech large truck. I've actually had one of these before. Fred's garden set. Some more little different sets. So this one is quite good. You can actually control it from the tablet. So you've got all the different motor functions. There's all the batteries. You probably go through quite a lot of them today. With all the different people playing with all the different modules. So it's like the car of Fast and Furious. The Nissan Skyline. So there's the Speed Champions. And there's the huge, massive one. So this is quite good. You can see these are like the technical pieces for the actual metal. Got a little engine. And then you've got one of the figures actually working on the big Lego truck. So there you go, I see the only one more. You've got quite a lot of different mods. So we've seen the previous videos, you've seen Richard before. So you've got 72 days there, and you need just under 800 more supporters to make his you go, Donkey Kong set the reality so it's part of the Lego ideas range where you actually submit an idea and if it gets over 10,000 votes then it goes to the Lego panel and they decide whether or not it's going to be actually made into a real set you could buy from the stores so we scan this QR code it'll actually take you to the Lego ideas page and you can actually click on the support and hopefully we get Richard over the 10,000 supporters and the set will become a reality. As you can see he's in the background, busy with his minifigures. We had an interview with him in Bedford. So this is the elf set. So you can see all the different scenes from the movie. So my favourite one is the Jack in the Box when he winds up and he gets scared when he pops up. Got Papa there. You go to the office with the different characters, with Buddy's brother. So again, scan the QR code. We get supported, get over 10,000 supporters. It'll get made into a set and you can buy it from the Lego stores. An ideal set to Chris. This is built by Andy Woodland. This is the Pentagon with the flag. Huge white house. Nice little gazebo and conservatory. So you can see all the time and effort going into the models, you know, all the details. I mean, even like the little lights in the trees, got the car in the garage. I've seen this one before, the swimming pool, again by Andy Woodland. Just went to the train station. So this is quite clever because you actually got the station built, put the Lego into the actual model. So we look inside, you can actually see the trains inside. So you can see all the different figures. I quite like this one because you've got the one in the wheelchair. So there you go, quite a lot of different figures now with all different ailments and illnesses. I think that's really, really good. Do you know how diverse the company can be? So onto the Simpsons section. So built by David Willoughby. Springfield Town Hall. Got the elementary school. This is a new one. You've got the block store. Crusty burger. Crusty outside. It's really good, especially like drive through on the sign. Got Bart on his skateboard outside the cookie mat. The poor still trying to clean up the city because Chief Wiggum is more interested in eating his donut with his handcuffs, but he's never going to use him. Catch snake. Most common, you've got Homer outside who can adapt with comic book guy. You've got the Simpsons vehicle, one of the cars. Got the Springfield church, and finally onto the Simpsons house at the end. At the back, you've got Scooby Doo with the Scooby Snacks. And then you've got the figure. Actually built into art groups, so you got Bart, Marge, and Homer. Especially like the creative use, so we can actually see what the different models are if you're not sure. But I'm guessing everybody will know what the Simpsons and Scooby Doo are. They still look really good. There's only one go. 
So it's more models by David Wilbury. So you got a camo helicopter. You got the Yaksas. A super yacht it's got 3,027 pieces. So you can see the logo on the side of it and all the detail inside. A pretty huge model. So this is from Terminator. This is new. You've got a Terminator and a skeleton on the motorcycle. I think that's really clever. Especially like the metal chrome parts. Now it's some of the cars. Again, these are built by David Wilby. You've got a Coca Cola truck at the front. You've got the two National Bricks Events cars. All the detailing. The Lancia at the front. It's the most sport cars. My personal favourite. So yeah. At the back is the Tonka yellow car. Yeah. Truck. Some more cars. See all the detailing. Man. Absolutely amazing. Totters Independent. Front. He's at the Robin Rowland and Mr. Beans. So this is a new model as well. Look the size of it. This is you can see the people in the background. It's absolutely huge. It's a massive lion. You can walk all the way around him. Look at all the detail. Absolutely huge. I need to think how many pieces are in this. But look at all the detail, even the tail. So hopefully this will be roaring after when England win, even when Welsh. So go to say because I'm in England and Sam is English as well, so I gotta say that. But yeah, what a model, absolutely fantastic. So on to Mario. Again, we've seen this one before, but it's absolutely huge. So you've got the super sized Mario and all the different characters on the side. So you've got the Iron Man best, some custom Daleks, little Gizmo, Black Panther best. So some of these you could actually purchase. Some of them are actually custom made, such as the spacecraft on Battlestar Galactica, the Enterprise, another one of my favourites. The Back to the Future train from Back to the Future 3, so you've got Martin McFly in the DeLorean, and you've got Doc trying to save Clara before he crashes off the ravine while the car is training at 88 miles an hour. This is a nice building, it's like a love heart one, isn't it? Like a Valentine's building, all pink and red. Got the IKEA building. You can see all the detail now with the lettering to make maker words uh, IKEA. No customers today, Sunday, so it's probably not open yet. Onto the taxi rank. So we've got a taxi in waiting. We've got a little taxi actually built into the sign. And then you've got the theatre. So this is a nice, it's like a big massive hotel you see on holidays, going to Spain. You've got the car outside. Then you go next door, you go into the, to the casino. You've got the bowling alley, again you, you can see the ball and the pen actually built into the design. Absolutely amazing. Want some of the models on the side. You got a drive through McDonald's. I think one of the taxis is dropping somebody off there. So this is the back of it. Want some more. You got an art museum. You got the bank. See when pesky stormtroopers in inside trying to pass off a dodgy money. No, no one in there. Post office. This is supposed to be the police station, but I think it's someone that is a commission. This is the back of the building we see. You see all the detail, all the different rooms. Want to tackle bell. Call you to rest. Want to take a little market so you can see the cost ones. See the produce to the side and the flowers. Custom rims. You got a little Greg store. We got Greg's this morning and copy in the services. Bacon and sausage roll and some other bacon and sausage baguette and orange juice. Coffee house and tacos Tuesday, Mexican restaurant. So there's all the modular bills, all in one go. Want some more? So you got Paul's Hammer with jacks behind. So this is not a custom with an actual model, the Ecto one from Ghostbusters. And then the T800 bust. 
I've yeah, seen some of these before, but it's still nice to look at them, obviously, if you haven't seen the Trans World before. Don't forget to subscribe, guys. But look at this, all the detail, you can see all the scale and things. The actual framework, and then onto the bust. It'd be really good if you could actually light the eyes up, instead of just using the little radar dishes. But it's still a very nice model. So this model is built by Nissan. So support his work on Instagram at the back. It's like an architecture set. You can see it. See all like in the can pieces. All the detail, absolutely amazing. So it's. Uh, hope I say it right. Shirley Ram Mandia, Ayodhya, India. So. Unique part of 97 pieces, but it's 5,146 pieces. It took 14 hours to build, and the size is 120 times 68 centimeters. So we have to come back after when the design is here because it looks like it's a lighting piece. Absolutely huge. Okay, so these are the different artworks. So you go back now, so the closer you go, you can see all the different pieces. And look back there, the further you go from them. So got prints on the end, you got a dog, Amy Winehouse, and Taylor Swift. Again, go closer. So there you go, you can see the detail now. Absolutely amazing. Don't make them like this no more, do we? They don't make them like this no more. No. Shame in it. So now we're in the cellars, they got all different art prints. So you can see you got Deadpool and Wolverine. So there's a limit of 1 out of 20 for £110. They got all different ones. Bob Fett. Darth Vader. So you can see all the different ones. So the person actually draws them himself. So got Benny the Spaceman. So you, you would have done 15? For the Tom Marisol Art. And you've got some more information about them. If you scan this QR code, they'll so take you to his page. Yeah, and you can find out was, more and buy some sets. To put on the wall. Okay, so this is one of the sellers, Leon Brighton. So you can see it's his phone number and there's his email address. So let's have a look at his stall. So solid hardwood, so as you can see there's coasters, chopping boards, and all different wooden pieces. But I think it's really clever, the coasters, three one. 
you can put your figure there or you can do a little build and then put your car people there I think that's an absolutely amazing idea so I can imagine some people instead of figures just doing an actual little build on a coaster a little house or a little custom model uh, brilliant there you go guys so if you want any more information or if you'd like to purchase them see these details and there goes the chopping board 20 pound or chopping board and four coasters there you go Okay, so a stall, as you can see, do different t-shirts, do all different cards, all the, obviously Lego theme. Oh look, they got them pesky storm troopers. Got some A4 mounted Lego portraits, some more birthday cards. So there's all different prices, all handmade. And if you scan your QR code, it takes um, to the page and you've got more information and you can buy them online yes exactly. yes yeah, yeah. you can buy them online as well yeah it goes through to me etsy shop there you go you hear it from the seller himself thank you okay so the time is quarter past 11 as you can see it's in full swing and it's really really busy so we saw quite a bit already in the first hour as you can see, it's been replenished quite a lot. So all the architecture, some of the brick heads, Star Wars and Christmas ones have sold. And we've got people looking at the store now, so I better go. Otherwise Sam's gonna kill me. Hello, Donald. <laughs> Chewbacca. <laughs> So you can see, look, he's absolutely huge. Look how tall he is. He towers above them pesky stormtroopers. Oh, you know you're today. Yeah, nuisance, isn't it? <laughs> Where's them pesky stormtroopers today? <laughs> How are we doing? Not too bad, yourself. See Minnie Mouse in a England top? Minnie! <laughs> oh, I'm on. dead cool as well. Oh. Minnie! Uh, hello Minnie! Oh hi Faith! Hello! How are you? In your England top? I had a present for you upstairs. Oh! Thank I you! I'm down to give that to you in a while. Oh you brought it? We did, we bought it at home. Oh. Oh. Oh, oh see what it is. Love this. Oh, <laughs> I bet they can't be as bad as them pesky stormtroopers. <laughs> Look, we've got a new character this week. We've got a Lego minifigure walking character. There he is. And you've got the National Bricks events logo on his top. That's a really nice figure. Better than a pesky stormtroopers any day. Donald Duck, and we got Minnie Mouse as well. But oh, I got something. Have I? I actually got something. 
So that can look at that. Then Pesky Stormtroopers not here, so Donald and Mickey Minnie thought is he take the Stormtrooper look. Storm Galactic Trooper. Empire, 100 pounds. Oh, I got something else? Oh, I got a badge. So am I. Oh, I got a real present. <laughs> I'm gonna have to pull out on my top. Thank you very much. <laughs> thank you. I love you, babe. Thank you. Thank you. Do you know what? I'd rather see you two on a stormtrooper and shadow trooper in the nuisance. Pesky stormtroopers. I can't believe in pesky stormtroopers in all year. And yet again, I got the characters walking around giving me gifts and fake money. You know, what's this? And more fake money. You know, the bank of stormtroopers this week. They're not even you, and I got stormtrooper money. Absolutely shocking. But I'm really impressed with my other free gift. It's a synergy cosplay um, patch. So I'm going to sew it onto my top. So I think it's really good having the patch. What it is, the company synergy cosplay. They the ones do all the different characters, as we always see the stormtrooper and shadow trooper and all different characters, such as Deadpool, Minnie Mouse, Mickey Mouse. Rex, there's been loads of different ones and you know I have a bit of banter and we tease each other they're actually there for a good cause they're actually collecting money for Autism Anglia which I think is a really, really good charity and they raise quite a lot of money you know attending these events they go around so you know you don't have to give them any money if you don't want to but I think you know have a photo with your kids or even like you, the grown ups who like some of the characters like Chewbacca today was absolutely awesome he was huge you know Star Wars fans take a photo with Chewie and just drop in, you know, even if it's just a couple of pence, it all adds up, you know, into these buckets as they walk around. So I think it's really, really good to support them. But Stormtrooper, Shadow Trooper, then Pesky Stormtroopers, oh, I miss you. I can't wait to see you in a couple of weeks. No doubt I'll have more fake money off you. Hey guys, as you can see, back home, had a quick shower, changed, ready to watch England play after. Come on, England. You know, Welsh, my partner, Sam, she's English, so i got to support them on my hour. She's going to kill me. You know, and I won't be attend these festivals no more. But saying that, if I don't attend them, I, I won't see them pesky stormtroopers. Oh, them pesky stormtroopers. I did miss them today, mind, but the other characters are absolutely awesome. Chewbacca, he was huge. Deadpool, I've never seen Deadpool wearing an England top before. Disgraced and marvel, that's all I can say. Ooh, Deadpool, shocking. Absolutely shocking when an English top like that. Spoiled the costume, that's all I can say, no. <laughs> Sound laughing in the background. So today was really, really busy. The first hour, two hours, oh my God. If it had been like that all day, I would have had to ask the organisers, could we have gone home because we would have sold out. The first couple of hours was really, really, really busy. It died down a bit. It was, it was steady, you know, the sales kept on coming in, but not as busy as it was the first two hours. But saying that, it probably was in the top couple of um, MBE, which is National Bricks Events Exhibitions. So it was a really, really good one. So my next one is next Saturday, and that's in Middlesbrough. So guys, there it is. So if you're local to there, or you want to travel down, come and say hello. And I'd say hello back, spend a bit of time, as long as it's a bit quiet. I like talking to my subscribers and different customers. So don't forget, massive thumbs up. And don't forget to share, like and subscribe and bye for now.